Can a computer learn how to complete an obstacle course? The past few months I've been working on creating and training artificial neural networks. In case some of you watching are unaware of what a neural network is, it is essentially a series of algorithms or a set of instructions given to a computer to loosely replicate a biological brain. I recently coded a neural network solution that allows me to create simple feed-forward neural networks of various sizes. I want to show you the actual footage I recorded while testing my neural networks, but first here is a brief explanation of how I did it and what you are about to see. I decided to test my neural network solution by creating a circle, giving it a neural network, or a brain, and three rays. The rays act as the circle senses, and you can think of them as whiskers on a cat, or eyes that can only see in one dimension. The computer must use the information retrieved by the rays to decide how to move the circle. Let's take this circle for example. If this ray casts into a wall, should the brain choose to turn the circle towards the wall, away from the wall, or not turn at all? How do neural networks learn which decisions are the best? There are a variety of ways this can be done, but I used a method called reinforcement learning and specifically a genetic algorithm to train my neural networks. Without going into too much detail on genetic algorithms, essentially what mine will do is create 100 circles each with a randomized neural network. Let them loose and then choose the smartest circle based on how far from the starting position it traveled. This smartest circle is used to create the next generation of circles through being duplicated 100 times, each duplicate containing slight mutations or variations which may or may not improve the neural network's performance. If there is an improvement, the genetic algorithm will choose the improved neural network and the cycle repeats. The current generation is displayed on the bottom right. Let's see the AI in action, and I have to say, I'm very pleased with the results. I had a lot of bugs to work out before I got everything working, but here's the first fully functional test of my neural network solution. As you can see, on generation zero, one circle already makes it all the way through the course. This might be surprising to some people, but honestly, it's not super impressive. As more generations pass, a strategy emerges. The circles tend to turn one direction and hug a wall, turning away from it if they get too close. This is effective and can be pretty fast, but it is kind of lame in my opinion. I refer to this strategy as side slurping and the practitioners as side slurpers. I don't like side slurpers. You can see that some like to hug the wall to their left while others hug the wall to their right. This is all due to random mutations. Remember, the reason there are so many circles is to test a large chunk of neural networks with slight differences to see if any of the networks are smarter or more equipped to complete the course. In generation 11, I decided to spice things up a bit and add some more obstacles for the circles to traverse. This is important because it shows us if the AI is really learning or just conforming to a very specific course. Ideally, we want the best of these circles to be able to complete any course they are placed in, even if they have never seen it before. As you can see, the circles handle the new obstacles with ease. Kind of. We actually had a close call on generation 13. Only one made it past all the new obstacles. I let this particular simulation go to generation 25, but not much changed after generation 15. I want to show you that these circles can, in fact, learn other techniques besides side slurping. Here is an earlier simulation I ran, and I think these circles had the most ideal brains. Notice that these circles travel in a straight line when they exit the course, and only turn when an obstacle is in their way. This is the kind of behavior I personally enjoy, and that can lead a circle to overcome a wide variety of courses. Also, the genetic algorithm rewards circles that travel away from the course after they leave it, because they will end up further away from the starting point than side slippers. Eat it, side slippers. Here is another test course I made that is a little different. The circles in this simulation chose the side slurping technique again, but you will notice as the generations pass, the AI learns that the less the circle side slurp, the further away they can get from the starting position. If I left the simulation running long enough, I'm sure they would straighten out their ways eventually. In this next simulation, I increased the length of the circle's rays, giving them the ability to sense things further away. I did this because I also added inertia to the circle's movement. Once they start going a certain direction, they will have to turn early in order to change it. I also added a small amount of gravity to the simulation, so now the circles are constantly pulled down. Side slurping is not nearly as effective in these conditions. 
There were a few challenges that came with this though. The circles liked to coalesce in a corner because it was an easy way to get away from the starting position without the need of intelligent behavior. Because of this, it required a very substantial mutation for a circle to make it past the first stage. I tried a couple of things to make the course a little easier, like filling in the corners, and while this did work, it was still a struggle for the AI to figure it out. With all that said, the movement of the circles under the more difficult conditions looks much more complicated and intelligent. We will see even more complex behaviors arise soon within the next few simulations. But before we get to those, I want to show you one more awesome simulation that I ran. This is the simulation where the AI started to meet my expectations, and I may have even squealed a little bit when I saw it figure out this course. You can see it starts out the way you would expect. The circles quickly start to turn away and run into the wall. It becomes a contest of who can slam into the wall at the highest possible point. I was starting to get frustrated with this, but during generation 14, one dude actually figures out that if you turn away from the wall, you can get higher. One circle in generation 15 just about completed the course, but it took a few more before something substantial happened. And the something substantial happened at generation 26. This is when I squealed like a little girl. At this point, it was just a matter of refining the newly found strategy, and boom, mission completed. You will notice that some of the circles actually slow down under the right conditions. This is an important behavior, and you will see why later on. I let the simulation go to generation 60, but not much changed after generation 28. There is one more course type I tested that I wish to show you. I decided to make a course with big sweeping turns. Additionally, I also took away the gravity in this simulation, so it would be more like cars racing as seen from a bird's eye view. Are you ready? Go! Okay, that was fast. Also, side slippers get out. I tried this simulation again, but this time I gave the circles a little more time to run the course before the next generation started. I hoped this would make side slurping a less favorable strategy. I started out slow, but Generation 1 was way faster than Generation 0, and I think this is because 10% of the circle's neural networks in each generation are completely randomized. I did this just in case the AI got stuck on something really stupid and couldn't mutate enough to figure it out. It seems this feature may have helped in this case. At Generation 6, you can see that they try to turn left right before they crash into the side. This trend will continue. The dude in Generation 10 added some interesting behaviors. Notice that the circle is now slightly slowed down and speed up. They almost seem to have an insect-like movement. In generation 12, boom, we got it. I found it interesting that some of the circles stopped at the very end. Perhaps they learned to do this when some of their rays were not touching a wall. You might notice a bit of side slurping behavior in these circles, but they will start to lose it soon. In generation 22 plus, we can see that some completely lose the side slurping technique. I want to pull your attention to a few circles that do not make it past the first big turn, but turn all the way around and head back down towards the starting point. Once they reach the dead end at the bottom, they completely stop, turn around, and go back the way they came. Occasionally they even made it past the first turn on the second try. Even though these circles technically didn't do well, they were showing the ability to handle a problem I never even anticipated they would have to face. Pretty cool. What you are seeing now is the end result of this simulation. I feel it turned out really well considering how new I am to AI and machine learning. I hope you found this video interesting. Feel free to give me suggestions in the comments or even ideas for future videos. I will be doing more things with neural networks and artificial intelligence in the future, so stay tuned. One more thing, check out my game Skybomb on the Google Play Store. It kind of sucks because, you know, it was my first game I ever released, but hey, I think it can be fun sometimes.